Boy, Jim, equipment's come a long ways. Well, it really has, Lenny. The manufacturer's done a great job of upgrading equipment, and it's made a big difference for top players, especially the professional tour. Um, you know, if you don't have a great swing, though, it's, it's going to help some, but I'd like to see somebody improve their golf swing before they really got into a, a high-priced driver because that's when the equipment makes a difference when you have better mechanics. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's no question about that. And that's why I think the drawing board is so important because when you do your practice, it's so critical that you're doing the right things, that you've got the right movements and you've got this golf club working down that swing plane. And that's so critical. If you set up with that driver right there and just kind of take your backswing and, and do a mock downswing and just stop before you hit it, the idea here is that club's coming down on the inside track, like it's going right down those yellow lines on the drawing board. And then I wanted to make one other point as we, as we swing that golf club through. There's two sides of that swing. You're going to hit from the inside, and then as you swing, remember that the club is also rounding out on this side. Sure. So the tendency for some people when they get on the drawing board is to overhook it, but that's what we want them to do. We want you to learn to learn hook the golf ball to draw the golf ball first and that's a exciting thing for right, a lot sure. of players don't yeah, you think i mean i could see it's definitely way more powerful and like i said before we were talking too many amateurs get up with the they just take the driver out and they hit these weak high fades to the right they hit a lot of balls in the water they hit uh balls in the trees and they always seem to be like the shortest you know the you don't want to be the shortest golfer, you know, <laughs> off the tee. So you do want that long, powerful shot. And that's what the drawing board does. And I, I kind of equate it to uh, people going out and buying $1,500 of wardrobe and then losing the weight. It's kind of, that's kind of the backwards way of right. doing it. So invest in the drawing board, build a, a nice fundamental sound swing, and then you can go and really key in on the right type of equipment, the right type of coach, and you can work on other stuff with your instructor. Well, the drawing board is the key to purposeful practice. Practice with a purpose. When you go to the range, you want to be working on something and doing the right movements. The drawing board allows you to do that at your house. You can do it in your garage, out in the backyard, but you've got something that gives you direction to teach you a draw biased hook swing. And that is a swing that gets you on the inside attack track. It gets you into a power position. It gets you into a strong impact position. And once you can draw that ball consistently, hit it out to the right and draw it back, you're on your way to becoming a good player. Well, you know, another thing, Jim, that I was thinking about was the um, sky marks. I mean, how many times have people looked at their driver or other people's driver and they see those high sky marks? Because what you were saying, a lot of people, when they come down, the golfers, when they come down, they attack very steeply on the ball. And that's where they hit that ball that actually gets marks on the face so right. what you were talking about more of a rounded swing coming down and through will make that ball go out as you call it a penetrating yeah draw. you're driving that ball on a line out toward your target that way you're directing your swing though this is what's important you're not directing your swing at the target you're directing your swing at the golf ball from the inside and a lot of people are swinging more out at, at the right. target and they have the idea of swinging down a line when you're really swinging this club on a circular motion that goes around your body. That's going to maximize the swing to produce the best distance you can possibly do. And that's what anybody wants to do with a driver. It's the longest club in the bag, the long, it's a long shaft, and you want to maximize that distance for the best results. Len, you're absolutely right. The key to effective practice is doing it with a purpose, smart practice. The drawing board will allow you to do that. It's great to get good equipment. I'm all for it. But it's much better to get a great golf swing or a much improved golf swing to make that new equipment work a lot better for you.